For today's money makeup lesson, we are going to create our third and final purple makeup look using no neutrals. We've been using one purple eyeshadow and applying it in three different ways and today we have our final look which is mixing it with a blue purple and adding some glitter. I actually wore purple a lot in my early teens so this is really bringing me back. I actually used to get bullied for wearing purple eyeshadow for some reason but it never affected how much I appreciate the shade. I also got bullied by the same girl because I was a fan of Britney Spears but jokes on her because Britney Spears followed me on Twitter years ago when I created a makeup look inspired by her so it's funny how things work out sometimes. But for each one of these makeup looks that we've created using purples, I really stripped them back to create a very basic technique, so nothing too complicated here. And I hope that you will try this out. Even if purple isn't for you, it can be a great way to experiment with color and to try to move away from some of those neutral shades and have a little bit of fun. So I would hope that you guys will try this out. Now with all that said, let's get started. So let's recap on the first look just for a minute. We applied an eyeshadow primer all over the lid, right up to the brows. We then applied a matte mauve tone into the crease of the eye, so above the lid, and we did this using a fluffy brush. We then applied the main purple shade. This is the eyeshadow that all of these looks have in common, and we just applied this all over the lid using a flat brush and painting this on. We then used our fluffy brush again and just went around the edges of the lid and into the crease, just where the purple and the mauve tone meat and this was just to get rid of any harsh lines. To add some depth we applied a deep purple on the outer edge of the eye and this time we used a pencil brush just for a little bit more control and then we ended up with something that looks like this. As a couple of finishing steps we also applied a matte blush so whatever blush you plan on using we applied this using a large fluffy brush just around the edges to add a soft fade. We also applied a little bit of our face highlighter just on the inner corner, finished off with lashes and mascara and a little bit of that deep purple under the lower lash line. And then we have a very wearable purple makeup look using no neutrals. Now for our second look, we're using a lot of the same building blocks. The purple eyeshadow is there, but we're now mixing it with a red, and this is going to create a very different style of makeup. For this look, we are starting off in a very similar way. We applied an eyeshadow primer all over the lid. We then applied the matte mauve tone into the crease of the eye, so above the lid using a fluffy brush, just like before. But for the next step, we are going to be mixing the red and the purple shadow together and applying this all over the lid, stopping right at the crease. And to do this, we applied it with a flat brush. We then used our fluffy brush again just to soften any edges where the purple and red meet the mauve. And we also went in with our matte blush and just applied this using a large blending brush just around the edges to bring the whole look together. And just like before, we applied a little bit of that deep purple on the outer edge of the eye. We can actually see the difference between how the deep purple is sitting over the layering of the purple and the red versus when it was just applied over the purple. And then for the extra steps, we took a little bit of that red, tapped off the glitter particles and used this into the crease of the eye to add a little bit of drama. It was very subtle. It was just a little kiss in the crease. I also applied some concealer and highlighter to the inner corner of the eye and then just finished off with liner, mascara, lashes. And now for our final look, we're going to be using a lot of the same techniques, but we're going to be swapping the red for a blue. This bluey purple is going to add a slightly different effect and we're also going to be applying some glitter, which is a super fun way to finish this off. So as always, we started off by applying an eyeshadow primer all over the lid. This is going to give our eyeshadow something to hold on to while also creating a blank canvas for us to work. And then just as before, before, we're going to apply that mauve tone right in the crease of the eye using a blending brush. Basically what this shadow does is it creates the framework for everything else that we're going to be applying. Think of it as kind of like you're contouring your eye shape. Then taking the main purple shade and mixing it with the purpley blue shade, we're going to apply this all over the lid using a flat brush. A couple of things to bear in mind when you are mixing eyeshadows on the actual brush itself, you want to make sure you are picking up in the same order. So if you went in with the blue, then the purple, you need to maintain that same technique. Every time you want to pick up a little bit more, start with the blue then the purple. This is just going to make sure they're sandwiching together and then they're going to be applied onto the lid in the same way, particularly if you're doing one eye and then the other. I love this shade combo. I feel like the two of them mix so beautifully together and we get some like different tones working on the lid. Now another thing to bear in mind when you are mixing shadows is you do have a little bit extra fallout. Because we're not just applying a shadow and painting it over the lid and we're, we're kind of mixing, it means they're going to be bouncing off one another, which then can lead to a little bit of fallout. 
And just like before, I also took a large blending brush and the blush that I'll be using today and just applied this into the crease of the eye to add a soft, gentle fade. And you should end up with something that looks like this. I really like the combination on how this worked out, but let's just add a few extra steps. So step one is to set everything using a setting spray. This is just gonna make sure that our eyeshadows are really holding on while also intensifying them ever so slightly. Then for the next step, we're going to be applying some glitter and doesn't this glitter look amazing? It matches our combo perfectly. It's Blancamas Cosmetics Purple Confetti and I absolutely love it. Now, of course you can use the little applicator it comes with or you can use your fingertips or in my case, you can use a flat brush and then slowly start to blend it out. But doesn't it look so pretty? I love it. And then I just applied a little bit of my face highlighter to the inner corner of my eye. Now bear in mind when you are applying glitters or shimmers or anything like that, you can kind of lose your lash line a little bit. So applying a very thin layer of liner can go a long way to make sure your eyes aren't getting lost. I also wanted to add some drama and apply some black to this makeup look, but this was my third makeup look of the day and my eyes did not want to take the liner. It literally just kept wiping off. So in the end, I'd wiped the entire thing off and then just applied a bit of the deep purple on the lower part and a bit of that blush to kind of softly blend it out. And then there you go. That is the finished look. I really hope that you guys will try this one out. I let me know which one of the three looks you prefer. You can check out the information box if you want to see the other makeup looks in more detail and definitely let me know if there's any other shades or techniques that you'd like to see broken down. And as always, my friends, be kind to yourself and be kind to others. And for those of you who are being bullied or have been bullied, just remember people bully because they see something in you that they envy. Maybe that's your kindness. Maybe that's a skill that you don't even know that you have, or maybe it's the confidence to be yourself. Kind of like me wearing purple eyeshadow every day to school and then getting bullied for it. We see makeup has always made me feel like I had a little bit more control, particularly because I was so sick growing up and it was undiagnosed for so long. Makeup allowed me to cover how I felt inside and just made me feel a little bit stronger. But whatever it might be for you, whatever way that people are trying to put you down, don't let them dull your shine. Keep glittering, keep being yourself, my friend, and I will see you in a video really soon.